Cadbury finally accepting a new $19.7 billion offer from Kraft, ending a four-month takeover struggle that was quite dramatic. Donald Yakman is founder of Yakman Asset Management. He's here with some perspective uh, on the deal. And, Don, uh, great to have you with us to talk about this development. Uh, essentially, Kraft finally got the deal done, but they had to pay a price for it. That, that's true, although the way the, the deal ended up being structured, they put in more cash and less stock, uh, which I like to see. Uh, I, this, this will make it, um, on an earnings per share basis, uh, actually be accretive next year. Uh, it, it should be, and it, it's all good. I mean, we talked to Mario Gabella. He's very happy with this deal. Uh, but did we need to go through this four-month back and forth where you saw uh, quite a strong words coming out from people like Roger Carr at Cadbury? Uh, probably did because there, there are a couple of reasons. One, it reminds me a lot of the Anheuser-Busch one that, that was done by InBev uh, about less than a year and a half ago. Uh, so, you know, similar kind of thing. I mean, the shareholders had to be comfortable. Uh, the management and the shareholders had to be comfortable. There wasn't some other suitor ready to pay up more, and there wasn't. So, mm -hmm. uh, and and I think. Kraft wouldn't start with their highest possible bid, so they always left themselves, I'm sure, a little room. Right. Uh, and and it's a great fit. I mean, uh, Kraft for years, I've said what they needed was more international exposure, more products that can be distributed on a worldwide basis, um, more international exposure. I mean, it, if you're going to become a worldwide food company, this was a great synergistic acquisition. Now, it's not without risks and uh, and everything, but it looks very good on, on uh, for where I'm sitting right today. Uh, before we get to the risk, uh, but Don, I mean, uh, in your sense, though, I mean, you've watched a lot of M&A activity in your years. Uh, is this the way deals are going to get done? Well, there aren't many huge deals like this that can be done. I mean, this is, you know, many, many billions of dollars. And, uh, but, I, you know, I, I think this is this has been going on for a long time. This is not something brand new. Right. Okay. And the risk, Don, you mentioned. I do want to hear from you. Aside from the positive, what's the one risk though that you see uh, for this deal? Well, I think there are more than one risk. I mean, first of all, the products, while they have higher margins, don't have as high a market share. And anytime you you know you enter into situations where you know now you got to deal with the politics of the fact that you've got a U.S. company and a British company, and British always want to retain uh, employees and everything just like you know the converse would be with Anheuser-Busch the people in St. Louis and the US want to maintain right. employees so I mean you've got all sorts of little things that have to be worked out but overall I, I think it'll it'll work and I think and I think it'll work probably quite effectively okay and she may have been a little lucky because of interest rates being low and her stock price having jumped and mr. Buffett basically saying hold the line and that allowed the stock to come up so all overall again I'm, I'm pleased okay all right well, we're gonna certainly be watching more about that uh, Don good to talk with you